Hello everyone and welcome back. This is a very special video because we are going to learn about existence and uniqueness theorem which is a very very important theorem. However, you should know that there are two existence and uniqueness theorems in our course. However, in this video we are only going to learn about the first existence and uniqueness theorem. Now this first existence and uniqueness theorem is only valid for first order differential equations. The second existence and uniqueness theorem is valid for high order differential equations but that second theorem we will learn that in a later video later in this course after several chapters so in this video we are only focused on the theorem that can be used for first order differential equations okay right first of all let's learn what is the idea behind this behind this theorem like what's the purpose of this theorem why would why do we need existence and uniqueness theorem so let's learn that first okay this theorem will give you an idea of what might happen with your solutions when you solve a first order differential equation meaning let's say that you have a first order differential equation and let's say that you want to find solutions for this first order differential equation that goes through a specific point now this point is very important you should have a point okay so let's say the point is x naught and y naught all right now you want to solve this first order differential equation and you want to find solutions that goes through this specific point now there are several scenarios that can occur the first scenario the worst scenario is that it could be the case that there are no solutions there doesn't exist a solution that goes through this point there could be solutions that goes through a different point but across this point there are no solutions that's the bad case or it could be the case that there are infinitely infinitely many solutions that goes through this point or it could be the third case the best case is that there exists one solution a unique solution that goes through the given point for the first order differential equation so there are three scenarios that can happen now this theorem will give you an idea what might happen out of these three scenarios three scenarios for your differential equation and uh, for the point that that you gave okay now is this important of course it's important now think about the scenario where you don't have any solutions i mean think about this do you want to spend time on finding something that doesn't even exist no right so before you solve a first order differential equation you can use this theorem and can get an idea of what you can expect okay all right so that's the purpose of this existence and uniqueness theorem so in nutshell the existence and uniqueness theorem will answer two questions the first question is about existence does there exist a solution for the first order differential equation goes through a certain point second question is that this theorem will answer okay if there exists a solution is it unique so these are the two questions that this theorem will answer all right so let's read the theorem given an initial problem like above so initial value problem means a pair a differential equation and a condition okay so you want to solve the first order differential equation that goes through a certain point so an initial value problem okay so given an initial value problem like above if f and partial derivative of f with respect to y are continuous on a rectangular region r in the xy plane that contains the initial point then there is some interval where the unique solution y exists okay now that's i know lot to take in let's try to break it down remember we have only two questions to answer in this theorem so let's try to find our answers uh, for our two questions in this theorem now there are two important sentences in this theorem see it says if f and partial derivative of f with respect to y are continuous so here's my breakdown of the theorem so the two questions that we want to answer is that does there exist a solution and is it unique so according to the theorem for the first order differential equation there exists a solution if f is continuous if s is let me write cts for continuous for short okay to save time so if f 
is continuous around the point x0 y0 then there exists a solution now what's f so your differential equation first order differential equation look like dy over dx is equal to f now f is a function of x and y now f is what you have on the right hand side of the differential equation now when i say that you should have you should only have dy over dx the derivative term in the left hand side okay everything else should be on the right hand side so whatever the function you have in the right hand side if that function is continuous around the point x naught and y naught then there exists a u uh, there exists a solution okay all right the next question is uniqueness so you get the uniqueness if partial derivative of f with respect to y now when i say with respect to y y is the dependent variable okay so then the partial derivative of f with respect to dependent variable if that's also continuous around the point okay x naught y naught then you get the uniqueness so it's this theorem is like checking for two conditions checking two criteria right right so first you have to check whether f is continuous second if f is continuous then so first if f is continuous then there exists a solution so if f is continuous you check partial derivative of f with respect to y if that's continuous then you're guaranteed to have now the word guarantee is very important okay we will talk about that in later in a minute but if this both conditions satisfy then you're guaranteed to have guaranteed to exist a unique solution for the first order differential equation you have okay now there are several things that i didn't discuss in this theorem like there are like rectangular region and some interval in this theorem so what do they mean um let's try to understand this in a picture now here's the thing this theorem will guarantee the existence and uniqueness of a solution for a differential equation locally okay now what do i mean by locally let's draw a picture so here i have the xy plane and here i have the point now the theorem is talking about a unique solution existence of a unique solution that goes through this point right okay but this theorem doesn't tell you that you have a solution that goes through this point forever like you have a big solution no that's not what this theorem tells you this theorem only tells you whether there exists a unique solution around the neighborhood of this point like locally like whether there exists a solution for a little while or not okay so that's very important now the story of that rect rectangular region it tells you that okay if these two conditions are satisfied like if f is, is continuous and if partial derivative of f with respect to y is continuous then the theorem tells you take the point okay so here we have the point x0 y0 enclose it or create a tiny 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 rectangle enclose in this point and inside this tiny rectangle going across this point okay going through this point you can find a unique solution for a little y okay that's what this theorem tells you okay there exists a solution i can guarantee existence of a unique solution for a little y that's what this theorem tells you okay now i can relate this theorem to a story if you want to if you want to learn the idea of like this neighborhood and this rectangle think about this now when i was a kid um i loved to play with my neighbor okay he was as same as my age but my mother had a condition my mother told me you know what i don't trust you okay you can play with your neighbor as long as you are playing with him either in our garden or in our neighbor's garden so as long as both of you are in the neighborhood of the house then um you can play together because then i can guarantee that you as my son will behave nicely okay so same thing here okay as long as f and partial derivative of f with respect to y is continuous okay around this point then this theorem can guarantee you a solution just around the neighborhood of the 
point okay right so that's what this theorem tells you like a, like a deep take in of this theorem right now let's talk about an example from this theorem now before we talk about an example i have to warn you that there is another thing that we have to discuss about this existence and uniqueness theorem so be with me until the end of this video okay right so let's take an example let's take a differential equation dy over dx okay is equal to xy and you want to find a solution you, uh, that goes through the point let's say 0 1 okay right now to use the existence and uniqueness theorem there are two things that you need to check simple as that identify what is f so what is f of this differential equation that's the right hand side right on the left hand side you only have dy over dx so f is going to be x times y now you want to know whether x times y the function x y is continuous around this point or not now we that's why we discussed about the continuity in the last video now is x times y the function x times y continuous around point zero one yes this function x times y is a polynomial multivariate polynomial there's no bad points in this uh, function x y right it's not a rational function so we don't need to worry about like dividing by zero there are no square roots so it's not unlike a natural log function like some of the examples that we saw in the last video so there's nothing bad about this function x y so it's actually continuous everywhere okay so yes f uh, if uh, the function x y is continuous okay so let me just write cts good the first condition satisfy that means what does that mean well there exists a solution so good the next thing is that you want to find the partial derivative of f with respect to y so differentiate x y with respect to y partially that means when you are differentiating the function with respect to y partially you assume the other variable which is x you treat it as a constant so if you differentiate y it's going to one it's going to be one one times x is x if you differentiate x times y with respect to y it's going to be x the next thing is you want to see whether x is continuous or not now x again a simple function no problem at all it's continuous everywhere so it's also continuous so both of the conditions are satisfied so what does that mean that means you're guaranteed to have a unique solution that goes through this point for this differential equation locally for a little while okay that's also important right let's take another example where this doesn't work dy over dx is equal to 1 over x okay now you might see that there is a problem right so let's say that point is 1 4 what do you think so let's say first what's the function function is 1 over x what do you think is 1 over x continuous everywhere no it's not continuous everywhere it's not continuous at zero right when around zero it's not continuous um the function is undefined when x is equal to zero because you will be dividing by zero but is that a problem in this scenario what do you think now if i look at the point point is one for x value is one right it's far away from zero okay so is this function continuous at the point one four yes that's very important i know the function is discontinuous at x is equal to zero but the point that we are concerned is a different point not x is equal to zero so this function is continuous okay all right now you might say a student can say the point one four is like here okay when x is equal to one y is four and the function is discontinuous at when x, x is equal to zero so someone might say well you know what the point one four is close to zero and someone might say so since the function um, since the point is close to the point where the function is discontinuous so there's a problem no that is not a problem because remember we can create a tiny rectangle angle enclosing this point one four so that we are far away from so that the x is equal to zero point is not included right so that's then that's the another importance of that 
small rectangle okay so in a nutshell this function is discontinuous at x is equal to zero but that's none of our concern because our point is on somewhere else right nice the second thing is you have to look at partial derivative of f with respect to y so we do have a so we do have solutions okay there exists a solution now the uniqueness so if you differentiate one over x with respect to y there's no y and you treat x as a constant so derivative of a constant is zero now zero is continuous everywhere right zero is zero so of course it's continuous at this point everywhere doesn't matter we only can concern about uh, what happens around this point everything is fine so both of the conditions are satisfied so again this differential equation will have a unique solution that goes through this point locally okay inside a tiny rectangle enclosing this point okay right now i'm gonna change this example little bit let's take the same differential equation now you know what i'm gonna do right i'm gonna change this point to zero one what do you think now we have a problem right now the function again the function is one over x and one over x is undefined when x is equal to zero now you can see we have a problem because we are going to find a solution that goes through x is equal to zero and the function is undefined at x is equal to zero which means the function is discontinuous okay now what is your answer does there exist a solution well you might say no right i know that's the answer that's what the theorem tells right no that's not what theorem tells the answer is not no the answer should be we cannot guarantee that's the special thing about this theorem okay now here's here's the here's the hardest part to digest here this theorem will only guarantee you the existence and uniqueness theorem now if your differential equation or if your f behaves badly at the given point like if the f is a discontinuous around the given point then we cannot guarantee the existence okay that does not mean that there are no solution there could be a solution it's just this theorem cannot be this theorem is inconclusive okay so that's very important to understand it's like this so remember the example that i said my, that uh, my mother doesn't trust me when i am far away from the neighborhood okay but let's say that i went my with my neighbor to play to play with my neighbor i went far away does that mean that i'm going to behave badly no right i might behave nicely i might behave badly okay so you cannot guarantee the behavior it's just my mom cannot guarantee that whether i'm going to behave nicely or not so similar scenario here okay when when you violated one of these conditions it's just you cannot guarantee what's going to happen it's not that no you doesn't have a solution it's just we don't know the theorem is inconclusive or we can say no we cannot guarantee a solution it's not like no we don't have a solution rather than that we should say no we cannot guarantee a unique solution okay all right so that's the existence and uniqueness theorem this video is pretty long of course because this is a very important theorem and we have to discuss in depth in the next video let's look at a lot of examples from this theorem and hopefully then uh, it will clear up every confusion that you have if you have any confusions after at the end of this video so i'll catch you in the next one thank you very much